Hello everyone, I have a big project for today. So I got this purse and I've never taken in such a big project. So I'm excited about it. I wish I had taken a picture of or a video um, when I first got this purse because right now I it's washed. I washed it and now it's dry it's fully dry and now i'm going to start with the actual rehab and the polishing of the leather so i got this purse at um kind of like a state sale or something like that for uh, my child school and they had this you know like kind of like a garage sale but for, for the school and all the parents donated the purses and um it's awesome. This this purse is really cute. I really like it. The size is really nice. It's all real leather, but as you can see, it's in really bad shape. So I want to see <laughs> if I can make it look better. And um, so so I washed it with um, uh, dish soap. Very, very gentle dish soap. Very, very little, but, you know, with sods, like bubbles and stuff. And then I rinsed it very well. And then, so I let it dry. And it, I let it dry for a really long time. I put towels inside, roll towels that I will change every day. And I will leave it outside for, you know, to just dry with the air. And, like, not directly in the sun, but, you know, in a sunny place where it's, like, on the shade, but the sun is, like, right next to it not inside not indoor and so this is the result this is what it looks like after i washed it it's fully dry like i said i put raw towels inside and then i'll change them and then um put new ones tray so after i washed it and i try taking off the stains this is the result so i did a little test for the polish that I have because I already had this polish that I use for my shoes and like I said I've never done in a big project like that but we'll see how it goes so this is the polish that I have and this is a color that I already had at home so that's what I'm going to use right now I tried it on this little piece um if you read the instructions it always tells you to try it on an inconspicuous in in inconspicuous something like that i don't know what that word is in inconspicuous anyway try it on a little part where you where it doesn't show a lot i mean if i if, if it didn't have this i will probably try it like right here or in a place that i can still i still have to clean it a lot but maybe in a little place where it won't show a lot because in case if it stains it and it didn't look the way I wanted it, I will still be able to purchase another color and try it without having a big old stain in the front part. But like I said, I don't have sentimental attachment to this purse yet, so I don't mind if I ruin it and it doesn't come out the way I want it to. So this is what I tried. Um, I put polish on this one. So basically, what I did is I got a little polish and then I applied it to the leather. And what I've noticed is that the leather is so dry that it might take a lot of the product just to um, just to rehab it or just to um, condition it. And it is okay with me. Um, I also had this polish for a really long time. I don't even know. I don't remember how much I paid for it. So it's okay with me. I really enjoy um, doing with my hands and doing projects like this. I I really, really, really enjoy it. It's like therapeutic for me. So, but if I had to buy the polish um, and it's expensive, I don't know, you might want to uh, consider that on your costs. So far, it looks, it looks really nice. Let me tell you that. <laughs> color makes me really happy um this little piece was looking a little bit like this and it completely took in the color 
um, I like the color. I think it's very close to the original color. I don't know what the original color of the purse was, but I am taking that probably this was the original. This might be a good, um, this might be the original shape or color of the purse. So let's see if we can get close to it. The other thing that we can do if it doesn't take it very well, and I don't know yet if I should paint it first or if I can still paint it after I apply the polish if it doesn't take on a good color. The other thing is that um, if it doesn't fully look all mm, uniform, like if the color is not completely uniform, I'm happy with it because I like you know items with character so that's my that's the my first thought was to use this polish my second thought was what happens if i apply nivea cream to it because let me tell you i applied nivea <laughs> to a lot of things and it works really well so that was my second thought is like well what happens if we apply because this leather is very dry there's places like this is very very dry so i was wondering what will happen if i apply nivea and my other question is like if after i apply nivea can i still apply the polish color so we'll see let's i'm gonna work this this side with a little bit of Nivea and I'm gonna le let it condition the leather and then I'm gonna come back and apply polish and on the other side I'm gonna apply um, just polish directly and kind of compare each other I see that it's taking a very like green look it's it does it's not looking great it's not looking like this piece so maybe it wasn't such a great idea maybe the Nivea wasn't like the greatest idea maybe I should just keep on going with the polish to give it that kind of like honey color cognac color what would you call this color and if you've done this before and if you have any tips for me on what has worked for you I'd love to hear from you please let me know if you like taking on this type of projects I am making a huge mess here I don't like making messes but I do hence my <laughs> blanket my project blanket so here's the result I applied a little bit of Nivea and then I applied the polish and this is what it's looking like so I'm gonna pause the video and speed it up and show you in a little bit what it looks like Okay, so I finished um, putting a polish on this side, the one with the buckle. I think I had it like this when I started. I'm not sure how I started, but so I put on polish on this side and it looks very good, I think. I mean, I don't know how it looked at the beginning, but I'm thinking it kind of looked more like this. And now it's looking like that. Here it is. Um, so on the other side, what I did is I put on the Nivea. It's still not completely um, taken in, but let me tell you, the color is not great, but the feeling, it really feels like the leather. Look at how soft the leather is. It's not brittle anymore. And I have to go because my little boss, my son is calling me one second. Okay, I'm going to keep working on this and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so I'm going to continue with this side. I just wanted to give you a little bit of, um, this is the end, this is the beginning and this is the end and side to side, this is what they look like. And this is what they look like now. Um, I try to keep it consistently, but... Um, I realized that the leather per se has more wear in some of the areas so that's why it's looking inconsistent so 
let's see i'm trying to even it out but like i said i like them um, i like articles with or items that have character so i don't mind if it you know if it still sh shows um where obviously it's not a brand new purse so it will show some you know some character which is nice I do see that the leather is getting like a little, um, like a blackish color somehow, like, you know, in these areas. Um, I wonder why, why it's going like that. So, okay. So on this side, I haven't put on polish, but I did put on some um, the Nivea on this side. And let me tell you that even though it feels... Um, moist and soft i'm not liking the color <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put polish on top of this and hopefully they even out a little bit and they look like this so this is the back this is the front this is the back and this is the front so and this is where i'm at right now with the straps so the outer layer is looking like this and the reverse is looking like this so very uneven and here's still a little bit dry so the other side is looking like this. this is the outer layer and this is the inside layer and for some reason they do look different but i think they were looking different from the beginning and i am happy with them so far so what i'm gonna do because it's taking quite some quite a good amount of product and um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to finish the rest like even it out a little bit here and here and if i have product left over i'll come back to the um to the handle i don't know what to call this all the shoulder strap and come back and and do that part and the inside part to be honest with you i i i don't mind it's okay i like it i think i'm gonna leave it the way it is and i'll show you right now where where we are so i want to share a little bit with you what i'm doing because it's pretty cool it's like magic as you can see, I'm going uh, starting on the edges and make, and working my way in to the center of the purse. Oh, look at how I love seeing this. This looks awesome. It's like magic. <laughs> and again, I don't know what the end product will look like because I've never done this in a big scale. But look at how wonderful oh my goodness I, I i kind of love the this look the you know the center being like a tan and the outer being more like a caramel color what do you guys think do you like this dressed looks like this or do you like it more even i'm actually like thinking about leaving it like this what do you guys think let me know I am wondering if anybody of you know why the leather is looking very like blackish you know like in this on some sides like this one it looks nice and brown or honey color but on this side is taking on a black kind of color I wonder if I didn't wash it very well when I washed it and it has like oils or am I applying something wrong if you guys have some experience with leather like this um, and you know why it's looking like that let me know I'll love to hear from you I will really love to hear from you okay another thing that I wanted to share with you is that I just noticed that the places that are taking these really really black blackish color is because the leather looks like this and let me tell you that just when you touch it on this side it feels very dry 
and this side feels like a little more moist or a little bit more um, smooth so I wonder if that's why because it really you know it's too burnt and now it's um, brittle the skin the leather you can see when I apply it see it gets like a little um, like it turns like a little bit on the black black color versus this side look at how beautiful this side is turning um, this is what is looking what it is looking like I mean it has a beautiful honey color okay let's keep on working as you see I went for the full coverage so even though I worked my way to the center and probably this area got a little bit more polished than the center I still went ahead and did the whole the whole thing so I also noticed that because um, I was pressing against the other side it can you can kind of see like the cross of the of this and there is um, there's a little um, um, compartment here so that also got a line on the other side oops but that's okay and I have started um, I already put a little bit of the polish on this side and I'm gonna work this side and see what it looks like so this is this is so far how it goes Okay, so I kind of evened out the back, although the marks are on the back are very stubborn and noticeable. But I'm pretty sure on the before and after, uh, there has been great improvement. So now, this is what I think was the original look like. And now I'm going to work on the sides. And if I have more product, I will... Um, work again on the straps because as you can see they're drying now I think all the product was absorbed and now it's getting to look dry again it's going back to that very very tan light color so um, let's see let's see where where this goes here is a, another um, update of how it is going. This is how it is going. I couldn't take out the green um, color from the brass um, hardware, but so these are the sides. This is the other side. This is the side where I put on Nivea cream and I think it got I didn't love the look I didn't, I didn't love what it did to it so so no Nivea <laughs> unless you like this look and then if you do like this this look then by all means <laughs> or maybe I'm not using it right um this is the back I don't know if you remember but it had you can still see it the line right here and it had a big discoloration it has a line here but overall I think it's pretty even I really really like it I like how it is turning this is the front this is the inside um, yeah I'm gonna just keep working on it a little bit and see if I can actually I don't mind that too much maybe this side even it out a little bit more maybe I will put in another layer here I don't know if I should just let it dry for now and wait until I put on another layer or just go for it since I'm doing it and I you know I don't always have the luxury of time so and while I do this I just wanted to share with you that I am really really happy to see more and more people rehabbing or you know resurfacing or reusing or recycling materials versus seeing big corporations producing more goods i think at this point in the world there's enough products already made 
like if we took all these things that are already existing and already made and we re-upholster them, we re-finish them, we take care of them, we exchange them, um, you know, we can try to stop the, the way we are abusing this earth and nature. And, you know, like things like this. Um, if you have an, a good quality purse and you are done with it, maybe you can just clean it up a little bit and, you know, do like an exchange with people in your community or, you know, sell it secondhand. Um, all of that is nice. I understand that people like to, to switch out a lot, but if you do, maybe organize with your friends uh, uh, or your community or you know, a Facebook swap group where, you know, you offer um, something that you have and, you know, take something in return or just sell it and buy something else that is already produced and is just repurposed versus a new one. Um, here where I live in Ventura, there are, there are several groups that I'm part of that I absolutely love and it i just love them so one of them is mamas that perch all day and it's just people in our community who want to you know get rid of their stuff or the kids stuff and they put it up for sale for really really cheap and that way um you know other people can use the things that you have and then you can buy from other moms you know that are in your community Another group is a Ventura Barter and Free and Barter or something like that. And people put up for free things that they have that, you know, instead of donating it to the Goodwill, because as much as I do love the Goodwill and the thrift stores, there are some thrift stores that actually do help the community and they're really, really good and I love them. But the other ones that don't help as much and they take on big um, profits and... I don't think they return as much to the community. Um, and to be honest with you, the prices here uh, have been raised so much. So this group on Facebook, um, you can put up the things that you don't want and people who, who like them or who can rehab it like this um they will take it um and you can you know some people put it out and it's like i have this purse 